On this episode, we're in Waltham for Embargo, Domestic versus Import. Now, the only thing that was beating that was the heat. We were at a massive heat wave for the last couple of weeks that took its toll on a lot of different shows. But that didn't stop some people coming out, braving the heat, and showing off some really cool rides. So sit back in air-conditioned comfort, enjoy this episode, and if you could, hit the subscribe button, give us a like, and also more pictures from this and other car events are over on Facebook. We're also on Instagram, so if you could give us a follow there, that'd be appreciated. Alright, I'm here with Chris, and he's got this really cool Cadillac behind us. What do you got today? So I have a 2008 STSV, mm -hmm. um, but it's a little bit different. It's got a livery package on it and some mods done to it. Yeah. Um, it started as a stock car, and I just kind of kept on modding it and kept it going. So yeah. Um, so my goal is to make it look like a, a race car, um, and there's the livery on it is actually from the 2007 um, SCCA uh, Cup series that the car used to be in. So yeah. So that's the whole point of it is to kind of be a, like a replica of that. So. Any suspension, engine-wise, everything? Uh, yeah, it's all bolt-on stuff, really, okay. to the engine. It's got a smaller pulley on it, intake, uh, better spark plugs, tune, exhaust, uh, bigger uh, front mount heat exchanger. Yeah. You know, just simple stuff like that. Uh, it does have lowering springs. I did put a custom wing on the back. And I'm working on uh, now doing some interior work and also an aero kit on the front of the car and side and rear of the car. So a bunch of different stuff to make it more track worthy. Now, what do you got going on here? This is your event, so this is uh, something you guys yeah. been doing. So what's what's going on here today? So I'm the organizer from the group called The Connection New England. Um, I'm also a member of the crew. And what we're doing is an event today with the other club called Blue Screws Auto Club. Yep. Um, and we're just having it here in Waltham at a place called Craft Food Halls. Um, they're giving us the uh, ability to use a lot and have our car meets here once a month. So we'll have another one next month. Um, and we're going to keep going until October with these events. So Awesome. It's a great time. You had a great turnout. Despite the weather, it's 100 degrees out here. And, the, and you had a really good turnout today. Yeah. Really awesome. Yep. So again, brother, awesome time, great car, and great night. Thank to meet you. you. My name's Joey. I'm, uh, I'm one of the co-owners of Bob's Automotive Services, and uh, yeah, this is my 2006 Z06. 2006 Z06. Um, sounds good. What do you have for engine? What do you got on the car? Yeah, so the previous owner had uh, heads, cams, uh, headers, uh, X pipe uh, installed. It's got a stock uh, muffler uh, in, in the back. Um, and it's pushing 556 to the wheel. See the wheels. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Uh, anything that you've done to the car since you bought uh, it? Yeah, literally last night I just put in uh, Stranos uh, uh, front and rear sway bars with awesome. uh, all metal uh, end links. Cool. And uh, this is my dedicated track and autocross car. Very cool. Very cool. So you've had this for how long? Uh, since last October. Last October, okay. Yeah, so I just. Uh, Flew, took a one-way plane ticket to North Carolina, bought okay. it, and then just drove it back up. And the funny thing is that most of its life, it's uh, lived in Massachusetts, so I technically brought it home. Thank you very much for showing this car. Yeah, thank you.
I'm here with Andrew, and he's got this really cool uh, story about this Camaro that he brought in today. So, how'd you get this car? Yeah, so I actually bought it at an uh, insurance auction for uh, a lot less than it was worth, mm -hmm. and uh, rebuilt it with my dad in my garage. That is awesome. So, as it was, the full front clip was just totally gone? Yeah, so basically, we think it went under a pickup truck. The entire front end was uh, trashed all the way up into the engine. Okay. Um, the car still ran somehow, but yeah. uh, definitely needed some work. Right, so you went on, you bought a whole front clip for this car. Yep. And matched it and everything else, got a few more odds and ends, and now you have something that's a lot cheaper than what it would have been brand new, right? <laughs> yeah, and it was a fun project. It yeah. took about two months to do with uh, my dad in our garage, and learned everything from you know stripping down a wrecked car to painting it. That is awesome man, that's very cool and the results are beautiful. This is something that's really cool. I, I Again, that's the whole process. You don't want to make it look like it's been something in a wreck. Yep. You want to make it look like it's something brand new and this thing is, it's, it's a nice looking car now man. It's a lot different than when it, worked, when it started out. So, very cool man. Thank you very much. All right, I'm here with Holly, and she brought down a race car in this heat. What did you bring down here today? A K20 Turbo Bubble. Uh-huh. Um, it's a bone stock type S, about 500 horsepower. Yep. We're running a Recaro Confetti C. What yep. else can I tell you? We're running Cozy K1s, and they're 16 inch. You know you can't find those. Yep. <laughs> um, suspension wise? Suspension. Do not kill me, you guys. I am running function and form still to this day. <laughs> I bought these back in like 2012. Oh, okay. Which is the crazy part, and you know, they still held up all this time. That is awesome. Hey, as long as something works, <laughs> it works. It works. Um, you know, I've driven state to state. I drive to Jersey and back a lot. With this? Yeah, with this. You are committed. Holy crap. You know, <laughs> broke my oil pan once, but you know, you got to oh, keep going. Wow. Yeah, I broke it. Um, I still remember the exit. It's like exit 10 in the Bronx, Gun Hill Road. Ooh. Worst day ever. And this was like, what, like 3 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so you said the interior is gutted, so there's not much to talk about the interior. Right? Yeah, no, it's completely gutted which is why when you're driving like your whole foot is just like on fire straight oh, metal yeah. to metal yeah, that you can is, go ahead and kind of fun, yeah. it. um and then the paint uh something uh so the paint is type r yellow i actually just got it back from the paint boot recently my cousin's bike fell on it so we had like a big old hole but you know i wanted to get it down to this event and then the event tomorrow legends united so yeah so it's type r yellow if you want the pink oh, y56 there you go. <laughs> awesome well I'm glad you made it down here in one piece without uh, melting in there. And, uh, Thank you very cool much. It was also nice meeting you. Thank you. So that wraps it up from Embargo and Waltham. Hope to see you at the next event. If not, we'll see you on the flip side.